Well, hello and welcome to Bloomberg Quint. Uh, we are joined by the management of Prince Pipes and Fittings, uh, Mr. Parag Cheda, who is the executive director of the company, uh, to take us through uh, their IPO, which is going to hit the markets on 18th of December. Uh, sir, thank you, uh, thank you so much, first of all, for taking the time out and speaking to us. Sure. So uh, I'll, I'll first like to ask you about, uh, for the benefit of our viewers, could you tell us more about the IPO? Basically, what is the number of shares that you would be offloading as well as the number of uh, new shares that you would be issuing? Uh, and what is the sort of proceeds that you're looking to garner from the, uh, from the issue? Sure. So the total company, uh, you know, the issue size is going to be uh, at 500 crores of which 200, uh, 250 crores is going to be for the primary and 250 crores is going to be for the secondary. Talking on the primary, uh, the objects of the issue mainly is uh, first uh, to have for our Telangana unit, we intend to spend about 180 crores. Uh, second is uh, in order to have the maintenance capex for our existing plants, we need to uh, look at about uh, 80 crores. Uh, thirdly, I would also say is that uh, we want to repay our loan out of the total uh, 300 uh, net debt. We intend to spend about, uh, you know, repay to the tune of 50 crores. Okay. Um, so some of your peers uh, in, in the industry include the likes of Astral Poly, Supreme Industries, as well as uh, Phenolex Industries. And uh, they have done quite well as far as the earnings are concerned. But uh, there, are, there are concerns with respect to the overall slowdown in the real estate space. Uh, and as you know, uh, a large chunk of your revenues do come in from the retail space. Uh, how are you looking at growth in a scenario like this? And do you expect to continue at the kind of run rate that you have been growing? Going at in the past few years? So I fully agree with you. Yes, there is a little slowdown in terms of the real estate. However, uh, thanks to you know the government of India initiatives, what they have brought down. Um, so talking about you know there is a, a Jal Senal program, there is a Amrut scheme, there is hundred smart cities. So there are various kind of initiatives that government of India has uh, you know initiated. Uh, so we see a lot of growth coming in on the urban infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Also talking about uh, irrigation, now just one third of the agriculture land available in India is irrigated. And if I talk about, you know, not only in India, but globally, it is uh, entire for the irrigation, it's only the uh, UPVC pipes which are used. So that is a kind of enormous scope that we see uh, for the urban infrastructure as well as for the agriculture and irrigation. Okay, so sir, in, in that case, uh, uh, have you received any any of the large orders uh, from the governments as well as institutions uh, for the uh, for for the various projects that you just highlighted? Yeah, so we have been dealing with uh, various uh, municipal corporations uh, as well as uh, the uh, state governments, uh, but this is all uh, done through the EPC companies. Uh, companies like Shapurji Palanji, Simplex, and LNT. So we have to sell our products to these EPC companies, who in uh, turn would deal with the government or semi-government bodies. So, sir, in that case, could you also help us understand what does your order book stand at as of uh, uh, the first half of FI20? So typically, uh, historically, you know, our order book position is to the tune of 25 to 40 crores. Okay. Uh, but in the current times, the order book position is almost to the tune of 75 to 80 crores. Okay. So uh, coming back to, again, your financials and... Uh, could you also help us understand what is your product mix like? What is the share of the different products that you cater to, uh, be it your CPVC pipes or the HDP, uh, as well as the different pipes that you sell, and what your uh, broader product mix uh, comprises of? Yeah, sure. Um, so, you know, to give you a perspective, uh, we deal, a company has, uh, is, you know, into four different types of polymers. One is the uh, UPVC, second is the CPVC, chlorinated polyvinyl chloride. Uh, third is the HDPE, the high density polyethylene, and fourth being PPR, polypropylene random. 
So um, more than uh, almost 70 percent is coming from UPVC. So UPVC shall continue to enjoy the lion's share, obviously because the material being very versatile and cost effective. Uh, about 15 uh, percent is going to be coming from the uh, HDP. 20 percent is going to be from CPVC. Okay. Uh so one of the key benefits, at least according to what a lot of the street uh, or what a, what a lot of the market participants uh, believe is the huge potential uh, in the building material space, uh, given the fact that uh, a large chunk of the market is held by the unorganized players, uh, you do have a large scope in terms of expanding your distribu uh, distribution reach. Uh, you, ha you operate or you sell your products through almost 1,150 uh, distributors across the country. Uh, could you also help us understand which are the key markets that uh, uh, that you are looking at in terms of growth currently and your expansion plans going forward? So first, uh, you know, to give you a good uh, perspective, almost 60 to 65 percent of the market is the organized and the balance 30, 35 percent is the unorganized segment and we are in the uh, top six uh, at the Pan-India level. Uh, out of my 1,000 uh, 400 distributors currently, um, out of which more than 80% are exclusive to Prince Pipes. And this is purely because of the kind of range that we have uh, to offer uh, is about 7,200 products uh, that we are able to offer in the country. Okay. Uh Sir, also, could you lastly just help us understand uh, that uh, given the strategic location of, of most of your uh, uh, manufacturing plants, uh, going forward, do you foresee uh, a rise in terms of revenues coming in from the exports? I believe a large chunk of your revenues, uh, they are coming in from the domestic market itself. But going forward, does your expansion plan also include selling your products in the international markets? Uh, so to you know uh, give you a picture is that uh, within the uh, plastic uh, industry plastic piping industry uh, all the countries are governed by the uh, respective standards uh, for example india is governed by the bureau of indian standards a small country like sri lanka is uh, governed by the sri lankan standards so there is a major difference in terms of the diameters. Uh, the good part is that you know India has having a good uh, demand in the country. So more than 95 percent of our sales are coming from the domestic market, and we believe that this growth is going to continue. And so our focus is going to continue on the uh, domestic market. Okay, lastly, sir, could you also help us uh, uh, get some picture as to how your margins have trended? Because I believe uh, the prices for a lot of your raw materials, like your polymer prices, they are dictated by how the crude oil prices have moved. And uh, we have seen in recent times that crude oil prices have moved higher uh, because of the expectation of uh, the increasing demand. Uh, in that scenario, do you think that you'll be able to continue to uh, improve on your margins uh, because, uh, because of the fact that the crude oil or the raw material price comfort uh, is not there going forward or do you think that you will be able to improve on these uh, by uh, by way of improving the product mix i strongly believe uh, with the kind of uh, growth that we are looking at and the kind of roadmap we have we would be looking at 13.5 uh, to 14 percent margin in the coming times and in terms of top line sir do you expect a similar growth in terms of your top line as well any numbers specifically that you could uh, share so the company, so the com so the company uh, last financial year we've closed at uh, 1,561 crores. Uh, we've been uh, growing at uh, last year we grew at about 19.5 percent. I believe that the numbers are sustainable, and that is what what we would be looking around uh, in the coming times. Okay, sir, we leave it at that. Thank you once again uh, for taking the time out and speaking to us, and hope to catch up with you uh, ahead of the IPO as well. Sure, thank you so much.